Downtown Toronto, forget it, downtown Toronto, nobody wears a poppy. You people love, you, you, they come here, whatever it is, you love our way of life, you love our milk and honey, at least you could pay a couple of bucks for poppies or something like that. These guys pay for your way of life that you enjoy in Canada. These guys paid the, uh, the biggest price. Now, no question the language that he used during that commentary has been pointed out as being incredibly divisive, as alluding to new immigrants or newcomers to Canada being the ones who do not have respect for the veterans. And we know that many Canadian immigrants, in fact, fought alongside Canada's military uh, and with Canada's military, were part of Canada's military for a lot of these missions and during these wars. So there has been a lot of reaction, as you mentioned, online. It's been trending on Twitter all morning. Let's quickly take a look at one of the tweets, just one of the many. And uh, this is from Josh Matlow, a Toronto City Councillor, who said it's time for Don Cherry to stop lecturing and start learning about the diverse and compassionate country we live in together. We are deeply grateful to our veterans and welcome new Canadians with support and respect. Now, that is some of the commentary we're seeing online. Of course, there is some that is in support of Don Cherry, but also many others calling for the removal of his spot on Coach's Corner in Hockey Night in Canada. Okay, so calling for his removal then. So what are the networks involved saying about all this? So we reached out uh, to both CBC, where we know Coach's Corner and Hockey Night in Canada is broadcast, and also Rogers Media uh, and Sportsnet, which is a division of Rogers Media. So let's quickly take a look at the CBC statement that we received and in it they said as Rogers Media is the national rights holder for NHL hockey in Canada CBC has no purview over any editorial choice of commentators or what they say with respect to hockey night in Canada and then we'll bring up the statement then that we received from Sportsnet that said Don's discriminatory comments are offensive and they do not represent our values and what we stand for as a network we have spoken with Don about the severity of this issue and we sincerely apologize for these divisive remarks uh, we've not heard anything from Don Cherry on this yet. Okay, Arthi, thank you for that. Our Arthi poll.